हेलो एवरी वन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैथ्स क्लास टिल नाउ वी कंप्लीटेड 27 सेवन प्रॉब्लम इन रेंज ऑफ ए फंक्शन वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डू अनदर फोर प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन रेंज ऑफ ए फंक्शन इन केस इफ यू नॉट वॉच एर्लियर क्लासेस ऑफ रेंज ऑफ ए फंक्शन आई गिव दट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन कॉर्ड्स If you observe these four questions, they all comes under one model. First, the two problems are of one type, and next, the two problems of another type. Basic idea of doing all these problems is same only. These first two problems I'll do with the help of shortcut trick. So I strongly recommend you to watch full video to understand this trick. All four problems comes under one model. Before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class To understand today's four problems you need to know this theory for any three real numbers a b c if a square plus b square plus c square equal to p then range of ab plus bc plus ca is closed interval minus p by 2 comma p first two problems i can do very easily with the help of this formula listen carefully i am going to derive this result understanding this derivation is very very important to understand third problem fourth problem in this class you observe this one a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square this is clearly greater than or equal to 0 as you completed 10th standard you can understand this very easily for any three real numbers a b c a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square is clearly greater than or equal to 0 now what i'll do I'll expand this a minus b whole square. What you will get a square plus b square minus 2ab. I'll expand this. What you will get b square plus c square minus 2bc. Expand this. What you will get c square plus a square minus 2ac. Here a square is there two times, b square is there two times, c square is two times. So if you expand this, what you will get? You will get like this: two times of a square plus b square plus c square. In this expansion, I take in minus two common. Then you will get a b plus b c plus c a greater than or equal to zero. We already know. See, these two expressions are same only. I'll divide this inequality with the two. As two is a positive real number, this inequality remains same. Divide this inequality with the two. Then what happens? So here important thing: a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a greater than or equal to zero for any three real numbers a b c. a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a is greater than or equal to zero. This point we use while doing third problem in this class. Now what I'll do this a b plus b c plus c a I'll take to the other side. When I take this to other side, it will become plus greater than or equal to a b plus b c plus c a. Actually, in this result, what I am trying, I am trying to get range of a b plus b c plus c a. This inequality I can write in the reverse order. Now how a b plus B C plus C A is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to. Can be understood when I write from this side. This greater than or equal to will write less than or equal to. Less than or equal to A square plus B square plus C square. You see what is A square plus B square plus C square? A square plus B square plus C square is P, na. So in place of A square plus B square plus C square, I'll write P. So what you will get here? A B plus B C plus C A is less than or equal to P. So you consider this as one. Now. You know this a plus b plus c whole square formula. A plus b plus c whole square. This is always greater than or equal to zero because whole square is there. Now for any three real numbers a, b, c, a plus b plus c whole square is clearly greater than or equal to zero. Now you expand this formula. What you will get? You will get that a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab plus two bc plus two ca. I'll take two common. What you will get? Two times of ab plus bc plus C A is greater than or equal to zero. What I am trying to get, I am trying to get range of A B plus B C plus C A. From this, I'll try to write what is A B plus B C plus C A. Two times of A B plus B C plus C A. You take these three terms to other side, then it will become minus of A square plus B square plus C square. What I am looking for, I am looking for the range of A B plus B C plus C A. From this, what is A B plus B C plus C A? You take this two to the other side, you will get that A B plus B C plus C A is greater than or equal to minus what is A square plus B square plus C square? A square plus B square plus C square is P na minus P divided by two. This I can write from the right hand side minus P by two. Here greater than or equal to is there na? It is less than or equal to A B plus B C plus 
CA. You take this as second condition. So I came to know that AB plus BC plus CA is less than or equal to P and minus P by 2 less than or equal to AB plus BC plus CA. From these two conditions what I can write? You observe this first one minus P by 2 is less than or equal to AB plus BC plus CA minus P by 2 less than or equal to AB plus BC plus CA. Here you observe this first one AB plus BC plus CA is less than or equal to P. From this, can I write range of AB plus BC plus CA? You see here, AB plus BC plus CA lies in between minus P by 2 and P. So from this, I can easily write range of AB plus BC plus CA. Correct or not? Yes. Range of AB plus BC plus CA. Here, equality is there. Na? So it, it is closed interval minus P by 2 comma P. So it is closed interval minus P by 2 comma P. So this is the derivation of this formula. So from now onwards, we use this statement as a shortcut formula. If a square plus b square plus c square equal to p, then range of a b plus b c plus c a is closed interval minus p by 2 comma p. You observe this question number 28. If a square plus b square plus c square equal to 1, then what is range of a b plus b c plus c a? You observe this statement. If a square plus b square plus c square equal to p, then range of a b plus b c plus c a is closed interval minus p by 2 comma p. Here, the value of p is what? The value of p is 1. So, what is range formula? When a square plus b square plus c square equal to p, range of a b plus b c plus c a formula is what? Closed interval minus p by 2 comma p. Okay. In this, what is p value? p value is 1. Substitute p value here. What you will get? Closed interval minus 1 by 2 comma p value is 1. So, closed interval minus 1 by 2 comma 1 is the range of a b plus b c plus c a if a square plus b square plus c square equal to 1. So, which option is the right option? Closed interval minus 1 by 2 comma 1. So, this option is the right option. Similarly, you see this question, if a square plus b square plus c square equal to 2, then range of a b plus b c plus c a. What is the formula to calculate range of a b plus b c plus c a if they given a square plus b square plus c square value? The range formula is closed interval minus p by 2 comma p. Okay. Now, what is p value? p value is 2. In this formula, in place of p, you substitute 2. What you will get? Closed interval minus 2 divided by 2 comma. In place of p, I am just writing 2. You simplify this, what you will get? This is minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1 comma 2. Closed interval minus 1 comma 2. So, third option is the right option. How easy it is to do these two problems if you know this statement? right now we'll move to next question you observe this question number 30 we need to calculate range of x square plus 4y square plus 9z square minus 6yz minus 3xz minus 2xy do not worry by seeing the question how to find the range of this actually this is very easy first i'll write the given function you observe this is the given function if you observe this clearly this is x square this 4y square is there now that can be written as 2y whole square 9z square is there now that can be written as 3z whole square minus 6yz is there now 6yz can be written as 2y into 3z look here 2y into 3z 2y into 3z is 6yz only now minus this 3xz is there now that can be written as x into 3z this 3xz can be written as x into 3z minus this 2xy can be written as x into 2y if you observe this clearly a square plus b square plus c square minus a b a b minus b c minus b c minus c a form Whatever expression I written here, a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca form. In the derivation of the statement that what we learned earlier, in that what you learned? You learned that a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca greater than or equal to 0. a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca is nothing but a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. This is the formula you know for any three real numbers a b c a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus a is clearly greater than or equal to 0 whatever the real numbers x 2 y 3 z this is of the form a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c n so this expression is clearly greater than or equal to 0 why this is clearly greater than or equal to 0 this expression can be written as x minus 2 y whole square plus 
2y minus 3z whole square plus 3z minus x whole square whatever this expression is there that can be written like this if you simplify this if you simplify this you will get this only this expression is clearly greater than or equal to 0 now so whatever they given here that is nothing but x minus 2y whole square plus 2y minus 3z whole square plus 3z minus x whole square we know that this expression is clearly greater than or equal to 0 so what is the range of the given function so the range of the given function is greater than or equal to 0 how you write you write this as closed interval 0 to infinity i hope you understand this if you know this point this is very easy so the range of this function is closed interval 0 to infinity so which option is the right option you look here third option is the right option i hope you understand this you observe this if a comma b comma c are the sides of a triangle then the range of a b plus b c plus c a divided by a square plus b square plus c square you may think that what is the first statement we learn in this class that we can apply here we cannot apply that statement here because in that statement a b c are any three real numbers they may be positive or negative but here if a b c are sides of a triangle if a b c are sides of a triangle means clearly the a b c are positive because the lengths are always positive right so how to find range of this expression as we know this point for any three real numbers a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square is greater than or equal to zero even though if a b c are positive this result clearly holds good equal to zero is possible yes possible when a is same as b b is same as c then equal to zero is possible if you expand this what you will get you will get this a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a greater than or equal to zero this we already discussed in first statement you take minus a b minus b c minus c a to the right hand side then what you will get a square plus b square plus c square is greater than or equal to a b plus b c plus c a now uh, what i need actually i need a b plus b c plus c a divided by a square plus b square plus c square to get that i'll write this in reverse order this can be written as a b plus b c plus c a when i am writing in reverse order this greater than or equal to changes to less than or equal to less than or equal to a square plus b square plus c square as i need a b plus b c plus c a divided by a square plus b square plus c square i'll take this term to this side what i got i got that a b plus b c plus c a divided by a square plus b square plus c square is less than or equal to one you take it as a first condition now as they are saying that a b c are the sides of a triangle i'll use one of the property in a triangle we know that in a triangle sum of any two sides is greater than third side if a b c are the sides of a triangle a b c then i know that a plus b is greater than c b plus c is greater than a c plus a is greater than b we know that in a triangle sum of any two sides is greater than third side what i'll do as a b c are positive numbers for this inequality i'll multiply with c for this inequality i'll multiply with a for this inequality i'll multiply with b as a b c are positive the sign of inequalities remains same greater than remains greater than only multiply this with c what you will get a c plus b c is greater than c square multiply this with a b a plus c a is greater than a square multiply this with b c b plus a b is greater than b square now as a b c are positive i can add these three inequalities add these three inequalities if i add a left hand side part of these inequalities i'll get two times of a b plus b c plus c a is greater than is greater than right hand side what you will get a square plus b square plus c square what i am trying for i am trying to find range of a b plus b c plus c a divided by a square plus b square plus c square so what i'll do i'll take this a square plus b square plus c square to the left hand side then what you will get a b plus b c plus c a divided by a square plus b square plus c square is greater than i'll take this two to the right hand side then what you will get is one by two so a b plus b c plus c a divided by a square plus b square plus c square is greater than one by two whatever the statement i explained in the beginning of this class closed interval minus p by two comma p in that interval negative numbers are also there if a b c are positive then a b plus b c plus c a divided by a square plus b square plus c square is clearly positive it never be negative that's why we cannot apply that statement in this question i hope you got the point so this is the second condition i got from one and two what i can write this can be written as in reverse order if i write this this can be written as one by two less than 
ab plus bc plus ca divided by a square plus b square plus c square this inequality i can write like this and you observe from one i got that this expression is less than or equal to one so i got this range i got the range of this function this function lies in between 1 by 2 and 1 from this can i write range of the function yes i can write so what is the range of the given function here this is strictly less than that's why this is open interval 1 by 2 to here less than or equal to is there now that's why this is closed interval 1 this is the interval open 1 by 2 comma closed one you observe which option is the right option see here open 1 by 2 comma closed one so second option is the right option whatever the four problems we did in today's class they are all comes under one model i hope you understand this class if you watch it this video till the end it means that you need to like this video please drop a like for this video without fail and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel what to do what to do subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye, -bye.